Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Karen. How are you? I am fine. Thanks. And how, how are you? I'm, I'm good. Thank you. I'm very good. How was your weekend? Uh, it, it's tired. I, if I was tired. Why? What, what happened? Because I am housewife. <laughs> <laughs> You're a housewife. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it happens. There's a lot of things to do. Yes. All right. Uh, wait, Karen, how old are you? I am 44. Oh, no, it's not Karen. I think Claudia Alfaro, she's 19, no? No. How old are you, Claudia? Um, 19. Okay, yes, it was you. You're not married, correct? Sorry? No, 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 no. No, no. I, I was confusing you with Karen. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, kids, no problem. So, how, uh, Guzman, how was your weekend? Hey, what's up, teacher? How are you? Hi, uh, good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Did any did everyone have a good weekend? Mm -hmm. I think that wasn't a good weekend, but today I started on Monday selling a motorcycle. I sold a motorcycle today, so that's nice. Oh, okay, that's good. Hey, that's good. That's good. Okay, medium. Okay, medium. Thank you. All right. So you sold a motorcycle. Hey, Guzman, how much do you think it's a Toyota Corolla 2010? Full extras. In, in perfect condition. Like uh, 6,000. Yeah. Maybe more, maybe more will be, but 6,000 is a good price. See, yeah. see uh, listen this, listen this. If I buy, if I bid um, a car, Toyota Corolla, um, I can import yours uh, 14. Uh, it's gonna be here like a scratch vehicle, paying bill, taxes from the US, transport from the US to here, taxes here is around $500, 5000 by scratch. It is complete repair. It's gonna be like a seven or eight thousand, but fourteen. That's the normal price. But I saw a few vehicles on market. That's that is like a ten or eleven thousand. Oh man. Yeah, that that's uh, really, how can I say that really ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. Price. Hey, do you have any small compact cars, like but SUVs? Uh, no, right now I just have two cars. I have Hyundai Elantra 17 and I have Dodge Dart. Dodge Dart 14. Um, the motor is like a 2.0. Oh, okay. a big car, yeah. But, well, you know what? Um, I have I have a Kia a Kia Soul, and the engine is two point zero, but it's really not. It's just very economic. It's very economical. Yeah, like like a ecosystem, right? Yes. But listen, the motor for that kind of vehicle is too expensive. So be careful with the motor, with the um, with the um, engine. Yeah, with the engine. Sorry. So is the, this agent is around 
1,300, oh, maybe more. Oh, oh, yeah. No. I, so I will just be careful with the, I'm going to say that word, mantenimiento. <laughs> maintenance. Maintenance. Thank I forgot you. It. Yeah. <laughs> you just be careful with that and you have a vehicle for a long time. Thank you. All right. You scared me. No. <laughs> no, I take care of my cars. It's true. Okay. So, uh, Welcome everybody. Today is Monday, almost the last day, the last day of the week. So the last day of the week, I'm sorry, the last week. So remember last week we were doing comparatives and superlatives, correct? Yes, teacher. All right. Um, what is the comparative of beautiful, Lisette? Oh, uh, let me see, L Lisette Flores. Hi. Hi. Um, uh, you repeat, please, the question. Yes, what is the comparative of beautiful? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Comparative, not superlative. Comparative, remember? Mm. How, I don't remember. Who can help Lisette? More beautiful. More beautiful. Why, Aida? Because uh, we compare to uh, two places. No, but be, but because remember it has three syllables. Beautiful. Oh yes, it's a it's a it's a long adjective. It's a long adjective. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a long adjective, and, the, and the, <clears throat> when it's when when it's a long adjective, when it's three syllables or more. Or more, yes. All right. Okay, let's see the video. I'm going to. Hello and welcome back. Remember there are different types of adjectives? That's right. We have short adjectives long adjectives and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now we'll study the superlative of adjectives. Please stay around and pay attention to the explanation as well as the audio program. Comparisons with adjectives. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population, Tokyo, Mexico City or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Adjective, comparative, superlative. Long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus noun Teacher, or object. Let's not forget what happens with short, long, and irregular adjectives. 
Study this chart and take notes as you do so. Take a look at these examples. They are applying the rules. My house is bigger than her house. His room is tidier than her room. The red Picture. car is more expensive than the blue one. Ready to learn about superlative adjectives? Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry, do you see my, my, my screen right now? Yes. Do you see my Facebook? Yeah. Yes. Okay, this is very cool, this web page, The Language Nerds. If you have Facebook, I recommend you to, this page is very good. It always, um, I suppose, tiraron un pamphlet. Hold on. Tim Nancy. This is good because it's it's always up it's it's only grammar. It's only English grammar. The language nerds. Bueno, ahí después se los paso. <laughs> eh, si pueden, eh, es una muy buena página porque siempre tira como trucos. So, eh, le voy a dar un poquito más porque les quería, voy a ver si lo puedo buscar en otra página. Esa página que les quería buscar, eh, encontrar. Here. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus noun or object. Let's not forget what happens with short, long and irregular adjectives. Study this chart and take notes as you do so. Take a look at these examples. They are applying the rules. My house is bigger than her house. His room is tidier than her room. The red car is more expensive than the blue one. Ready to learn about superlative adjectives? Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Follow this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus the, plus superlative adjective, plus noun or object. Study the chart. Just as comparative adjectives in superlative form, we also have short, long, and irregular adjectives, which you need to take into account when using them. Examples? He is the tallest of his family. Michael Phelps is the fastest swimmer in the world. Canada is the biggest country in North America. North America. Can you write one sentence using good in its comparative form? Now write another sentence using good in its superlative form. Write both sentences in our discussion box. Okay, now do you understand the video more? Now, do you understand a little bit more about superlatives and comparatives? Yes. Okay, let's let's see number one. It says complete questions one to five with comparative and questions six to ten with superlatives. Use adjectives given in your brackets. So which country is mm, Monaco or Vatican City City? Smaller. The adjective is smaller. Smaller. It's smaller. Smaller, right? Why? Because it's a short. It's a short syllable. It's short. Yes. Only one. Small. Small. 
Now it says which waterfall blank Ni um, Niagara Falls or Angel Falls? Is higher. 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 Right. Yes. Which waterfall is higher? Which city? Blank. Hong Kong or Cairo? Road. 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 More crowded. More crowded. More crowded, right? Yes. Por qué? It's irregular adjective. It's a regular adjective y en la sílaba se oyen tres. Crowded. So it's more crowded. Which lake is blank the Caspian Sea or Lake Superior? Larger. Larger. Which place is Taj Mahal or Great Wall of China? The more, the more, more, famous. more famous. More famous. Which is Mount Ankawa or Mount Everest or Mount Fuji? Higher. What is blank river in the world, the Nile or the Amazon? Longer. Longer. Highest. Longer. I don't know, but the, the highest. No, seven kids, the longest, pero. The, the longest, but in the, in the, before that, in the number six, highest. The yeah. heights because uh, we have three three options. Yes, yeah, that it's not it's not correct. The highest, I don't know, uh -huh. because here, in my opinion, está malo porque está comparando. You're comparing. Sí. comparing. Yeah, pero mi man, uh, the platform igual a esa number seven is comparing. The yes. Nile or the Amazon? Then, like See, I said, but, what is the longest river in the world? But say uh, in the in the world is a superlative, right? Yes, because it's generalized it's in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which city is Tokyo, Moscow, or Hong Kong? More expensive. The most expensive. The most expensive, right? Yeah. This is, I think that is a, a comparative. It's yes, in my a, in my opinion, it's a comparative. Yeah. But I don't know the platform. What is blank ocean in the world? The Pacific or the Atlantic? Steeper. Atlantic. Atlantic. ¿Y por qué está, se está comparando y por qué lo está poniendo? The deepest. Mm -hmm. Ok, class, con, lo que yo le enseñé. Ok, miren, la nueve claramente no se pregunta así. Porque está comparando. Oh, no. No, because this said in the word. So we generalizing in this part. Sí, sí, pero está comparando. The Pacific oh, okay. or the Atlantic. Or... Okay, keep yeah. it on off. You know, so really, the correct question would be, what is the deepest ocean in the world? Only. Only that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Which is blank desert in the world? Atacama Desert or Sahara Desert? Driest. Igual está mal. Yes.
last one is uh, the Y is an I. Yeah, I just saw it. Okay, but listen. When it's comparatives and superlatives, mantengalo simple. When you're comparing to, it's thing. a comparative. Yeah. When it's a superlative, it's in general. So I can't, you know, it's like saying, what is the biggest department in El Salvador? San Miguel or, or Usulutan? You know, I am actually comparing it. What is the, um, which department is bigger? San Miguel or Usulutan. But if I want to know in general El Salvador, I just say, which is the biggest department in El Salvador? Okay. So let's go to the next. In this session, you will learn to pronounce in order to sound natural when asking a question of choice. Let's see. Hi, in this class, we'll practice our pronunciation. Listen to the intonation of questions of choice. Repeat the questions along the audio program. Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in part A of exercise three again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen. Here, we're going to do um, how to ask in distance. Hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen to the conversation. What are they talking about? Pay close attention. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Did you get it? That's right. They are talking about distance and measurements using the question word how. Okay, so did you understand that? Let's see. Learn to ask questions with how. Hi again. There are many questions we can ask with how. This time we'll ask questions related to distance, measurement, descriptions, and conditions. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions. Get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. 
How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way. How plus adjective plus a verb plus complement plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how and right after it we have far. Far is an adjective. How big. Big is an adjective. And because we use adjectives, we must use the verb be properly conjugated. How long is the Mississippi River? How is the question word? Long is the adjective. Is is the verb be in singular. Mississippi River is the complement. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? How tall are you? Which one is the longest river in your country? How long is it? As we always ask you to do, please write your responses in our discussion box. Okay, so that's how you ask questions with how. How do you, how long, how far? Um, what is how long? How long? Yes, okay, que tan largo. It también is distance and time. How long is? San Miguel from San Salvador, maybe two hours. One hundred five kilometers. Eso se digo how far. How far? Oh, okay. How far is San Miguel from San Salvador? It's a hundred and five kilometers. How in distance. Long? In distance. In this. How but far is another? distance? Okay. And how? In time. Yes. How far is distance? How long is distance in time? Um, Example, how long from your house to your work? With traffic, 30 minutes, no traffic, eight minutes. Riding motorcycle like a 15 minutes from San, San Martin to San Salvador with the traffic and with a traffic like a 10 minutes. <laughs> Imagine no... how, how fast. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever had an accident? Uh, yeah, but mm, no hard accident. I, I crashed with a with a small dog, and the motorcycle was on, on my my leg, and that's it. Uh, but I think that I suppose that I never has a a big or a accident or like that. This is small. Hey, what happened to the dog? I don't know really, but but I I try to to stop my motorcycle and I couldn't. Oh man! Yeah, I I don't know what's going on with the with the dog, but at that time 
I was in the street and I just thinking about my motorcycle. Yes. Okay, um, Jancy, you live in La Libertad, correct? Yeah. Yeah, teacher. La Libertad is very hot, De right? Departamento. I live um, mm -hmm. I live municipio Tamanique, Puerto de la Libertad. Oh, okay, is it hot? Yeah. More. How do you sleep? How do you sleep at night with the fan? Uh, aire acondicionado. With air conditioning. Yeah. So I sleep with air conditioning. I sleep. I sleep. With air conditioning. <laughs> Please repeat, I sleep with air conditioning. I sleep. I sleep. With. Uh, excuse me, teacher. Okay, I with, sleep with air conditioning. I sleep with I, I sleep. aire conditioning. Air conditioning. Air, air conditioning. Air conditioning. Yes, all AC. <laughs> Who are you talking to, Jose? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Oh, <laughs> my friend. Spanky. <laughs> your friend Spanky. It's my little dog. Ah, it's your dog. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's it's good. You, you're a dog. Uh, you're an animal lover. That's good. <laughs> All right, good. Let me see. Uh, Cesar, Adonai, are you there? Yeah, yeah. Um, Cesar, yeah. how... Do you drink your coffee? Oh, yeah, you don't drink coffee, right? Yeah, I love coffee. How do you drink your coffee? Um, we, with all of us, uh, I don't know, but uh, sin? Out, with, no, with no sugar? With no sugar and black. All right, cool. Yes. But you see, you see what I'm saying? How do you? How do you? Um, okay. Um, but what is the correct answer? Is that no, it, it's correct or no? No, uh, I don't know. Your answer was correct. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, the, what we're practicing right now is asking questions. How do you? Ah, okay. So how do you? Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do you drink coffee? Mm -hmm. Or how do you take mm -hmm. your coffee? All right. Okay, and you? How do you drink coffee? I take my cup. I put sugar in my coffee, but um, okay. I like it strong. How do you say prensado? Uh, I I don't know. French press. I like. Uh, uh, yeah, I like the the coffee in French press. Okay. Yeah, it's good. It's good like that. All right. Good. Let me see. Let me see who's next. Who's next? Okay. But do we understand? How do you? All right, let's see. All right, let's do the knowledge check. You see number one. It says instructions, write the answers, remember how to use how. Angel Falls is 979 meters or 3,200 feet high. What is the question? Seria, so, yeah, how high? Oh, hi. How high is 
Angel Falls. Angels Falls is 979 meters, 3,212 feet high. Um, who lives in the mountain? Oh, yes. Ataco. There you are. Jose Carlos. Do you know do you know how high is Ataco from San Salvador? Hmm. Ataco is a uh, uh, 100 uh, um, 200? 200, uh-huh. One, uh, 1,200. 1,200. 1,200. 1,200 meters. Mm -hmm. uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Sobre el nivel del mar. Above. Above. Above ocean level above ocean level mm -hmm. wow it's high um apaneca is uh 1400 1400 yes Wow. In this moment, it's cold? Yes, it's cold. OK, hey, that's cool. I, I, I love cold. I don't like hot. <laughs> <laughs> I love cold, too. Yes. All right, good. Entonces, así, así se how high? How hot? Um, oh. So listen, California is about 403,170 square kilometers, 155,977 square miles. How square big mile. How big is California? California. How big is El Salvador? Saber, creo que es like six thousand feet. Listen, um, the Nile is six thousand six hundred seventy kilometers long. How long is the Nile? Next, we have Washington D.C. gets up to about thirty-two degrees Celsius, ninety Fahrenheit. How hot is Washington? Oh. How hot is San Miguel? How cold is Ataco? How big is your house? You see questions with how? I have a question in this part because yes. If you don't have the specifically uh, the the temperature in in of the place, so you can see it's very hot or it's very yes. cool. It's very oh, cold. Okay. It's very hot, or it's about. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's about in your calculations. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Como cuando tiembla. How how strong was it? Y el salvadoreño ya, ya somos como expertos. Como, mira, ese fue como un 5-3 por ahí. So more, in English, less. more or less. <laughs> yes. So you say it's about 5.3. Um, I'm studying geophysics. So uh, with my classmates, uh, we said that. Uh, What do you say? And that uh, the uh, and that's more or less the the magnitude or or, just, or the season or the oh. season. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. You study geophysics. Yeah, yes, geophysics. What 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 is that? Geophysics. Are um well, uh, the geophysics study the 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 physics and math of the earth. So um, seismology, meteorology, or oh, that the wow. the Very earth science. Interesting. Yeah. César, ¿es cierto que en El Salvador no hay sismólogos? Mm, specifically, no, because the, the people is, have a specialization in sismology, but uh, the career, the first career is not about air science. So, for example, uh, the people study physics or uh, engineering, and after that, uh, have a specialization or a master in seismology, so or or a course uh, of a specialization in seismology. So, um, well, I some classmates in in, the, in Santa Ana are uh, the last year uh, graduated the the first year of physics in Santa Ana. Yeah, interesting. I never, yeah, I, but in San Salvador, uh, the last years um, graduates uh, some geophysics, specifically uh, specifically in 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 the earth science, right? So uh, we can uh, specialization in different areas, right? Interesting. Hey, good for you. Good for you. Good future. <laughs> All right, Congre okay, good. So let's continue class. And lesson five, it says lesson objective. In this session, you will learn, you will listen to a conversation between two people making plans. Future with present continuous and going to are introduced. So listen to going to and listen to present continuous, okay? Pay attention. Hi, ready to start? Can you hear? This demo study future tense. Please yes. pay attention yes. to the conversation we're about to play. As you listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow. Can you imagine Miguel? That beautiful woman is inviting him to go play volleyball. And he says, no, I have to go with my brother. <laughs> oh. Dummy. Ustedes que hubieran hecho, man. Yeah, let's, let's go play volleyball. Excuse me one second. Excuse okay, me. Uh -huh. Hey, hermano. Okay, forget about me. Bye. Let's go. Let's go play volleyball. <laughs> Identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until 5. So let's go around 6. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Hi, 
So, are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go okay, as you listen stay to and this, explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we plan actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous, instead we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, am, um, are, is, plus verb, plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, am, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word, plus be, plus subject, plus verb, plus ing, plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word, plus be, plus subject, plus going to, plus infinitive verb, plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. Okay, class, do you remember? Okay, look. I am going to eat pizza tomorrow. Simple future, correct? Yeah. Present continuous, Sería, I am eating pizza. In this moment, right? Present continuous, correct? Correct. So another way to express future in a plan is, I am eating pizza tomorrow. So this is called this is called present continuous to express future. So una cosa, esto no existe en español. Si la quieren sacar lógica en español, no lo van a entender. Porque hey, estoy comiendo pizza mañana. Huh? This is English only. So the word tomorrow is at the beginning or at the end of the sentence. Tomorrow I'm eating pizza or 
I am eating pizza tomorrow. What are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow, Ana Lisette? I'm going to work. Tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, I am going to work tomorrow. Can you tell me that in present continuous? I'm going. No, I am working. I am working tomorrow. I am working tomorrow, excellent. That's it, that's the difference. Cesar, if you study, when are you graduating? Um, in two years. So I, I am graduating? <laughs> I'm graduating in, in, in two years. In two years. Or, yeah, it's correct. Yeah. Okay. Or I'm going to graduate in two years, which is the normal. But you can say I'm graduating in two years. Excellent. Okay. Guzman, what are, what are you eating for lunch tomorrow? I'm not sure. <laughs> Imagine. Um, I can say I would like to eat a roast chicken, something like that. Okay, so say I am eating roasted chicken tomorrow. Are you eating? I eat in roast chicken tomorrow. Good. All right, Noemi Cornejo. What are you doing after class? What is the future there? I am, after class. I I work in I work in the platform. Today after class? Yo estoy diciendo que quiero seguir trabajando en la plataforma. Okay, good. Pero you need the important part after class. Ah, okay. Eso, eso significa the, el futuro, after class. After class. Mm -hmm. Y eso eh, va al final, teacher. Puede al final o al principio. Ah, entonces, the after class, I'm working in the... I'm working in the platform. Yes. Okay. All right. Hey, Jose Isaias, you're very quiet today. What time are you? What time are you waking up tomorrow? I'm going to wake up at six a.m. I am waking up at 6 a.m. I'm waking up at 6 a.m. Tomorrow. All right, good. Tomorrow. All right. All right, class. That's, that's, that's how you do it. You say a present continuous and one word expresses future. Or one sentence like tomorrow, next week. Yes? And it can go at the beginning or at the end of the sentence. Okay. What? Right. Questions. Do you have questions? Okay, no, no questions, guys. No, Miriam Cabezas, you're very quiet today. Yes, yeah, yes, I know your internet is bad. All right, class, look at my chat. What does my chat say? Do you see my chat? 
no teacher. ¿Qué es futuro previo, Lisa Flores? Are you sending the message for all, teacher? Wait, I think, I think, I think big. I know direct message. Oops. Do you see that? Yeah. 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 El gran Bob compró un gran bate de béisbol. You practice that tonight. Big Bob Bob, a big baseball bat. Yes, Big Bob bought a big baseball bat. <laughs> Some nice play. Big Bob bat. What is that sound? That shh. Oh, I think there is Here's a huh? Here it's raining. Really, in Santa Ana, it's raining. No, Where? I'm. I'm not in Santa Ana. Where are you? Where is raining? Um, in Costa Rica. Where? Are you serious? You're yeah. in Costa Rica. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. How long have you been in Costa Rica? Desde um, cuando? Two months ago. Really? All the all this time you've been in Costa Rica? Yes. I <laughs> met y el hablando de Santana. Oh, Santana is beautiful. I love my Santana. Yeah. <laughs> I am from Santana. I love Santana. Oh, ok, but you're in Costa Rica. Ok. Uh -huh. Es te iba a preguntar bueno. porque no te creo, porque ese background lo has tenido desde un mes. Ese fondo. Ah. Ok. Oh, ok, so all this time. Oh, ok. What time is it in Costa Rica in this moment? The same. The okay. same. Oh, wow, it's raining. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> It was crazy. The weather. Oh man, that's cool. Okay, where where in Costa Rica do you live? What? Where do you live in Costa Rica? I'm living I'm living Pura in Vida. Pura Vida. Pocosí se llama en la provincia de Limón. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, I, I see Guzman. I have a house there. The next month. <laughs> The next what, one, I'm what, going to. Wait, do you live in Costa Rica or are you just visiting? I'm, I'm visiting. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool, man. Nice. Yeah. Are the Costa Rican women beautiful? Oh. Um, extremely beautiful. <sighs> yes. Good for you. No, I'm joking. <laughs> hey, very good. Very good. Hey, and your dog? If you come back to San Salvador, what about your dog? Um, in the next month? Miriam nos está asustando. Yeah. In the chat too. Oh. <laughs> yes. Why? Oh my God. Why, teacher? That's scary. And she said, teacher. We can't understand you, Miriam. You're speaking. 
you se oye it, it sounds like da, da, da. <laughs> okay class thank you very much okay i will see you tomorrow I'm going for you. Thank you, yeah. teacher. I will pull your feet. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Everybody.